moving right in to part 17 on building this crepe myrtle tree. And I am still working on prepping the base to put that crepe myrtle tree on top of. of. Hi guys, my name is Carol, artist of Only Trees, and I put a few more clips together on that prepping uh, work. So enjoy these. Always doing my best to protect that piece of wood. I'm putting my cardboard back on top, fitting it in there. And then the next step I took was a hacksaw to cut off the um, amount that I wanted for this post that is now um, not permanent yet, but it, it's there. So this is the size of the post that I'm using. And I, because the whole tree is made out of copper wire, not silver or stainless or anything like that, because this is a completely different color, I want to do my best to not see this. So now I'm going into the copper piping, which will fit over um, this piece. And, you know, of course, I just don't have copper piping laying around. Maybe you guys do, but I didn't. So I had to take a trip to our closest and best ever hardware store. So I did that. And look at this cool piece I found. All right, so this is half of it. I took a um, pipe cutter, all right, and cut the size that I needed, and I got this. And I really thought this was a cool find because it has it, it's not an open piece it, so again this is what's going to go over the top this is the piece that's going to have the trunk um, go down in into it now as I'm, I'm putting this copper piping over the top of this steel rod that I have here I have some wiggle room here, and I don't want that, um, so I'm going to use, um, what's coming to the top of my mind right now is um, hot glue gun, um, flex shot, um, you know, something that will um, mold itself and just keep this uh, nice and tight. <laughs> okay, I have this and I am laughing at myself as I'm trying to figure out the best way to tell you what I'm going to do with this. But I think you guys already know what needs to be done. This needs to be inserted <laughs> to the trunk of the bottom of the root system of that large tree. Okay, this is me holding the camera, so both hands are kind of full, but I'm going to take this copper piping and I'm going to insert it into the underneath. You're looking at the bottom of the root system um, tree I have uh, laying down. It needs to be completely reshaped that will come, but this is what I'm working on now. Okay, the copper pipe is inserted into the center of the trunk. With my cardboard on top of the black walnut base, I marked where my anchors were on the root system, which will be going down into the black walnut. And what I did was mark them with a black marker. There's, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. There's a few of them here. What I am doing is taking a pointed screwdriver 
and hammer, hammering them into where I want to make my drill holes. Once that is done, if I take this off, and I've only done a couple of them so far, but you can see where I have my notches. There's one, there's one. Those are the areas where I need, I only did two. <laughs> Those are the areas that I need to um, drill. Okay, guys, there you go. That is going to be the end of part 17. Look how far we've come from the wrap to this point where we're putting that huge 20 inch tree onto that black walnut base. Guys, have an awesome night and we will talk soon.